Hey guys, what's up? Payton plays MC here today, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix a MacBook Pro 15 inch that has had the uh, graphics card fail. Uh, if you guys don't know, the 2011 uh, 15 and 17 inch models with the discrete graphics tended to have a lot of problems with their graphics cards failing. So mine has recently died, and uh, Apple's little program has um, ended. It ended. Uh, December 2016 so they told me that they couldn't replace it so the only option was a logic board replacement which is $500 so I looked for another way and we found one on Mac rumors um, this was posted on April 13th 2017 and all of the credit goes to Apple Mac finder this dude is amazing um, he solved this thing um, with help from a couple other people that posted in the comments but here it is it's this really long thing you may think um it's really not it's uh i want to say like a 10 minute process you enter a few lines of code um but it, it's not that hard of a process at all so what you're going to start out by doing is you can try this here um i can let you guys read through it but you can try to do uh removing the drivers and that'll allow you to boot up the macbook um but it's all like glitchy um as you can see right now i'm running this I have a 2011 15-inch Micro Pro 2.2 gigahertz, and if we go to System Report and we go to Graphics, I have the Radeon 6750M. This thing has completely died, um, and so yeah. So what this method does is it forces the operating system to only use the integrated version. Um, so he tried everything that I did. Uh, he tried the the mount and move the files that didn't work he tried gfx card status um which i'll get to in just a minute um that also didn't work because the newest one says you can't do it because an external display for some reason but i'm not connected to an external display but um besides that it even going to an older version it doesn't work um he tried um modifying gfx card status to force it that didn't work okay so none of that worked, I've tried all that, well, except for modifying, but let's just say that I doubt it would work. Anyways, the 100% working solution. What you're going to do is go to this link, and you're going to download Arc Linux, and you're going to put it to a CD, DVD, or USB. For me, I put it on a CD that I burned on my Mac, because my Mac worked, other than the graphics card, so like, I did the solution of moving the drivers over, and it booted up, I was able to put that on the CD, so, a CD, I know for sure works, um, but a DVD and USB walls works, whatever you have. So, we go to this link, and what we do is we're going to go to download. So, I went down, and I scrolled. You could do a BitTorrent if you have that. Um, that's I don't have that, so even though it's recommended, it's okay. Um, I scrolled down to United States, and I think I just went with the first one. And what you want to do, uh, let's see, what you want to do is download this. Now... Um, mine, the one that I downloaded was a little bit different because, of course, it's May now, so, it, that's okay. Um, I just downloaded this one right here. Arc Linux, this, 0.05.01-80x86-64. You need this one right here. Um, I tried this with this one. I, it might have been April for me, or might have still, it might have been, I think it was a later date. No, no, it was April 1st. Okay, my bad. April 1st is what it was. Um, but May 1st will still work. So you just download this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to burn that to a DV drive, DVD, uh, CD, or USB drive, right? And then shut down your Mac and put that in, and then you're going to boot up holding the option key, and then wait a minute. If you have a DVD or a CD, it's going to span a little bit. So wait until it finishes spinning, and then you'll see two things pop up next to your hard drive in the boot up screen. You're going to click on EFI boot. That's what you're going to click. Um, you're going to go, and then what you're going to do is uh, you press E. Um, it'll stop it from booting up immediately, and then you add no mode set to the end. Now, it gives you a line of code at the very bottom, and you press no mode set after that. It, you put a space, and then no mode set. You press enter, it's going to take a minute. I promise, it's going to take a minute, but that's okay. So you wait a minute for it to load up, and then... When it does, then you enter these right here. Um, that's if you have GPU power prefs. Um, I didn't have that, so I didn't need to do this. 
Um, you may or may not have it if you have GPU power press, which you can find by doing this. This command, you go to this uh, file directory and then ls to show what you have. If you have GPU power press, do this. If you do not like me, um, same model as me, you most likely won't. Um, anyways, so then you can skip this step here, or these steps, and you come down here, skip this command altogether, um, as he says, skip this. So, um, then you come down here and you're going to make one. Uh, you print this and then you set the chatter command and this makes this GPU prep. It makes it for you. You're making it with these two commands here. As he says, this, the guy had the same thing as me. He didn't have this, so he creates it. So he creates it. He just explains what chatter is, if you guys want to look at that. And then you do CD slash unmount and reboot. And it should, most likely, it's going to boot back up and it's going to run nice and smooth just like this. I'm running off of the Intel graphics. Now, this forces your Mac to use Intel graphics. So obviously gaming and stuff, it's, it's not going to be very good. But that's okay, you want a working Mac rather than paying $500 for a repair most likely. So, in GFX status, in the newest version, it forces it to use Intel HD graphics, which you couldn't do otherwise, but now you can. You don't even need GFX card status, but I'm just showing you that you can't switch. Because if I try and switch to discrete, it doesn't let me. Just like before, when let you go to Intel, now it won't let you go to discrete. See, yeah, okay, well I can't do it because of screen flow, but it's on integrated, that's why I have the I. Um, Anyways, so this will completely fix your Mac. This works 100%. Um, thanks. Big, huge shout out to Apple Mac Finder. I will leave the uh, link down here and just make sure that you guys download this version. Um, but yeah, that, that basically fixes everything and it allows you to use your MacBook like normal. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.